Okay, so I have just a list of things uh, that I have seen in people who have done responsible uh, work with psychedelic. So the most uh, relevant thing for me, because I started as a clinical psychiatrist, is what you can do with psychedelics therapeutically. And we can certainly go way beyond any uh, you know, uh, potential of, of uh, means that we have already available, like verbal therapy, or certainly not tranquilizers. You know, a lot of uh, current psychiatry is limited to suppressing symptoms, and it's called therapy. There is, it's nothing else but mitigation of symptoms. It doesn't change really anything where psychedelics can take us to the core, where the problems are coming from. We can really resolve some things. So this is the whole big, big category. Rick talked about it and, you know, we've written about it for, for years. There is an enormous therapeutic potential if psychedelics are used uh, properly for all these things. But uh, just to sum it up in a few sentences, Responsible use for psychedelics can really solve a lot of individual problems, can improve the quality of life in individuals. And I believe that uh, the kind of transformation that I, that I described that happens, if it could happen on a large scale, I think it would increase our uh, capacity for survival. Uh, I have seen it in hundreds of people individually, now, whether we can do it on a large enough scale and whether we have enough time to do it, you know, it's an open question. But it's very exciting to know that there is a way that if we, if we so agree and if we try to put our energy there, that it could really make a difference. It's probably the only thing that would make a difference, you know, because if we continue the, the uh, current uh, corrective measures, I think we just make things worse. So thank you very much for your for your attention and all.